Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we will understand design and simulation of a buck converter by using LT spice. We will see the input voltage, we will see the switch node voltage, we will see the output voltage, we will see the inductor current, we will see the output voltage ripples. Okay, we will understand how buck converter works, how buck converter functions, right? We will see what is the on time, what is the behavior of buck converter during on time, and we will understand what is the behavior of buck converter during off time, right? So all these things we will learn and we will understand in today's videos, right? So let us start right now. This is the circuit diagram of buck converter, which I have already drawn in the Altis files. Okay, so you can see this is the input voltage, right? And that is connected to a switch. This is this basically nothing but it's a switch so in place of switch i have used a mosfet right i've used a mosfet so to drive a mosfet you need to have a gate driver okay and since this mosfet will be driven by a pwm signal with some have with having some frequency so you need to have a pwm generator so basically this circuit is a combination of PWM generator and a combination of gate driver circuit okay so I have replaced PWM signal generator and gate driver circuit with a pulse signal with a pulse signal which is having amplitude of 24 volt at T on time and it is having T on time is 2.2 microsecond and the total time is 4.4 microsecond right so uh, you can say the driving frequency for this mosfet is this mosfet is to around 225 kilohertz so this buck converter is running with a 225 kilohertz frequency right so then we have a free wheeling diodes and then we have an inductor to store the energy during t on time and then we have output capacitor and then we have a load resistance right so let us quickly understand how buck converter works for during t on time and how buck converter works during t off time right so let us quickly understand this so during t on time this mod mosfet gets turned on right this mosfet get turns on i will not talk about the conduction and switching losses in the buck converter right now in the today's tutorial right so this mosfet turns on so it behaves like a short circuit okay right i will not talk about the losses here so it behaves like a on switch it behaves like a on switch the 24 volt goes here to inductor so this inductors during t on time this inductors store the energy right this inductor stores the energy during T on time and it also at the same time it delivers the energy to the load right so this is the circuit flow this is the current flow for T on time a 24 volt goes here then this inductors store the energy and it delivers the energy to the load here and the the circuit current path completed with this flow right now during t of time what happens during t of time this mosfet this mosfet get turns off when this mosfet get turns off this source are uh, 24 volt behaves like open circuit so there is no current flowing through this source to load so during that time the energy stored in l1 that is inductor the energy stored in inductors uh, due to back EMF, this diode D1 gets forward bias. This diode D1 gets forward bias, and it allow it allow to flow of current through it. So now the current flow is this from here to here, and it goes to load. So hope you understand the behavior of behavior of buck converter during T on time and behavior of buck converter during t of time now i will run the simulation in lt spice and i will show you some waveforms right 
now i will run the simulation and i will show you the waveforms right so go to simulate edit simulation command right stop time is 5 millisecond and you have to tick skip initial operating point solution right then ok this is ok and go at here at run button click it here all right then first i will show you the input voltage you can see this is 24 volt right this is 24 volt now i will show you output voltage you can see this is this is 12.25 right this is 12.25 and you can see this condition is transient condition this is the transient condition and this condition is you can see the output voltage is stable this is called steady state condition right this is steady state condition where the output voltage is stable totally stable and this is the transient condition all right now i will show you, show you the the pwm signal to drive to drive the gate of mosfet so yeah 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 this goes let me expand it okay you can see this is the pwm signal right this is the pwm signal this is the on time this is the off time and on time is bit more than off time okay all right now i will show you the voltage at switch node this node is called switch node so i will click it here yeah and you can see the voltage at switch node is around 21.1 which should be as closer to 24 volt okay there would be some losses okay now i will show you the inductor current uh, just wait a minute this is inductor current here we go yep you can see initially it goes ramp up that's 8.1 ampere and then it stabilize after some time and this is a steady state condition so i will zoom it here mm -hmm. yep so you can see this is your inductor current and the it is max value is 780 milliampere and the min value is min value is around 360 milliampere so you can see there is a ripple inductor ripple current okay which vary from here to here if you want to calculate the average inductor current that could be somewhere in between right so this is the inductor inductor current waveform now i will show you the output ripple waveform output ripple current so you can see this is the output ripple current which varies from 560 milliampere to 561 561.95 562.45 milliampere around 1 1 milliampere ripple okay and now i will show you the ripple voltage you can see the ripple voltage is 12.363 volt to 12.373 around 100 millivolt ripple so you now understand how a buck converter works how buck converter converter behaves in t on time how buck converter behaves in t off time right and what is what is the drug gate driving signal what is the inductor current what is the what is the output voltage what is the output ripple voltage and what is the switch node voltage you also now understand how a buck converter work during t on time and how a buck converter works during t off time right so hope you understand the basics of buck converter how it works and you are you are now able to simulate your circuit by using alt spice right so if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section